A Tale of a Few Cities Fourth Child's Dome by Eric Scarborough The Plas Crete was forming over their dome sweet dome, almost ready for another layer. Grandad bowed his head as Foreman Fourth Child walked past, thumping his face screen as he reached to tug his forelock. Ruddy choked a giggle. With the one child law, it wouldn't do to offend anyone from a fourth child line. His suit hissed as another patch froze and cracked in the icy Martian air. Red or white? asked Grandad, reaching for the gaffer tape, then followed up with, No, red it is. The white being finished and looking pink anyway. He had seen the schematics. The 4096 settlers' domes to be reinforced and built on, the 64 Mars Magenta apartments above, eventually supporting 64 executor suites. Then Mr. Con Cuero himself would occupy the Palatian on top. The creation of a pyramid scheme was to protect all and sundry from the unseasonal Martian dust storms. Their home's casual use as the foundations of another unstable society was not lost on the old man. Just then, a faint rumble vibrated through the ever-thinning soles of their warm boots, which weren't. The horseless rumbled past, its bubble containing the architects on a tour of their vision. It vented steam every four seconds, blowing into ice crystals the actual water that many settlers had died digging for since the final colonization began. Grandad noticed Ruddy swiping at his face screen, which was being coated in a fine fulham of dust from the passing horseless. You've not applied your anti-stat again, have you, boy? he asked. Knowing the lad was attempting to scrimp a few victorious together in order to afford a penny dreadful or a tongue buster. Unimportant here today, standing barely a chain from the plas greeting engine. Yet the elder remembered his first expedition, being less than a furlong from base camp, but totally blind due to the ever clinging micro dust. Solving that dilemma had earned him the post of charge hand. He'd hammered a depth pole into the regolith tied a rope to it, and led the party around in an ever-expanding spiral until they reached base. The elders still told Ruddy about it. With each telling, the spiral became greater, literally spiralling out of control, and possibility. There couldn't have been that much rope on Mars. Grandad rested a hand on Ruddy's shoulder, and glanced at the umbilical that led from both their suits back to the hand-powered air pump in the dome. Wouldn't do to have these architect types park on the breather while they lit up a poppy pipe in their bubble. Man and boy looked up, trying to imagine the red tower as it would be. Many generations had tried this trick. Build upwards to display your power and control. Churches, sky scratcher, the Chinaman's impossible looking bamboo high riser. Both saw the folly in trying to expand the empire here. Whatever height was obtained on this spot, one only had to step back a furlong to see it dwarfed by Olympus Mons. Someone hoisted the jack. It fluttered weakly. The red, pink and purple barely moving.